Hello everyone, the mean team here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 4. Um, I'm very happy to be back, viewers. It's been a long time. I finally got a uh, Vista machine, which is unfortunate, but the uh, specs on it are very good, so I can handle doing Let's Plays again. So I'm going to get right into it, and for the time being, this one's going to be at Immortal again. I know, in, I know some people want to see Deity, but I can barely win Deity on rare occasions without uh, being recording and thinking about what I'm saying. Now I have to pick a leader. We've done organized, we've done expansive. Um, let's see. We were Russia. I'm not sure, viewers, who should I be? Well, let's make it completely random. All right, let's go. Justinian of the Byzantines. Okay. Have a look at our start. Lots of fishing and irrigated corn. Not bad in terms of commerce, except for we don't have any of the technologies to exploit these resources. But I still can't really justify moving because I don't see anywhere better that could possibly be. This is going to be a very strong capital to uh, put out great people. And unfortunately we're surrounded heavily by jungle as well. It'll be good land once it's cleared, but that's only once it's cleared. Um, well, yeah, I'll start like that. Get the uh, corn and cow hooked up, and uh, work from there. Possibly whip work boats. No, this I need the commerce. Sorry, viewers. I'm I'm going fishing to start. And yeah, I'll just grow. I'll grow to two, then work some hammer-intensive tiles. Uh, probably work the fish first, and uh, maybe whip a second work boat on the clam, and then go the worker out. That's probably not optimal in terms of expansion rate but it does give me a lift to early research Oi, Mansa Musa is the game's biggest tech whore he'll trade at Annoyed, he trades Monopoly techs uh, in general he's one of the uh, better tech technologically advanced AIs in the game as a result he's not particularly trustworthy but he's not aggressive at all so generally you don't have to worry about him <laughs> Famous last words. Okay. And I might as well just research the technologies that let me work on my resources for now. If I don't meet anyone other than Musa, it might be necessary to um, research archery as well. Yeah, I let the warrior come out. I need the exploration. Now I get the workboat as soon as possible. And I'm probably going to want to expand towards him. Because I haven't met anybody else yet. So he's close to me. And I can probably wall off a lot of land if I expand towards him. Which means I'm sending a second warrior to explore in his direction. He came from the northeast early, so I know he's up here somewhere. And yeah, that's why. Now I, um... I have to consider how to play cities that claim that land and block him. <laughs> Animals abound! Wow, I survived. Yeah, I, I frequently take strength rather than woodsmen, because that does give you better survivability on flatlands, and you don't sacrifice a lot of... Um, chances of survival in the forest by taking strength over the um, woodsman promotion. Yeah, I'll, I'll build a second work boat. Really work on the commerce. Alright, another guy that's not very trustworthy, but he doesn't uh, spam units either. 
he's a little easy to easier to attack in the early game than uh, Mensa Musa, just because he doesn't have a unique unit that owns you. Alrighty. And yeah, I'm gonna want forest to chop. I'm gonna want to chop my forest eventually, but I actually have enough tiles that I could work them all at my uh, growth cap. So it, it's bronze working isn't as big of a deal because of that. All right, now where is he? Okay, Moose is over there. I'll just take the battle with the Panther fortified on the hill like that. So I'm going to want to wall him off, but the question is how, like where I place my city to do it. And I'm probably looking at cities, unfortunately here, hold all S to uh, bring up the strategy layer to place that. And there I suppose for the stronger city tile. So what I'm going to do is if I settle this city I'm going to have a trade out with it immediately. So I'm actually going to put up a settler reasonably early to get a hold on that tile. Fishing starts when you don't have the re so you know when you don't have the technology are a little bit slow. So alright. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll see a uh, horse, so I don't have to worry about barbarians. Otherwise, I'll have to consider archery as well. Oh, come on. How many freaking bears are there? In that case, I'm going to have to work this warrior back over there, or produce another warrior. <coughs> but I think a worker is a priority right now to hook up my best tiles. But yeah, just from the amount of land that there appears to be, it's looking more and more like I'm going to be wanting to go archery. Nope, no horse. So I'll just work my way back over there. Hopefully this warrior survives, otherwise I'm going to sneak another one out. And I'm working one imp unimproved tile. So I'll start on my settler, and that'll let me yeah, that'll let me get to that site as a priority. Um, the Melanese also favor culture to an extent. In fact, uh, he frequently pursues that victory condition. So I, I would like to avoid uh, giving him any chance to settle nudging up on me if I can help it. And yeah, I'll go bronze working despite the fact that I'm taking a risk against barbarians. Because I, I need to be able to actually produce the archers that I research, and the uh, seafood commerce will help with that anyway. Jeez. And. No, I, I'm going to want to improve the corn as soon as possible. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, since I don't have archery, I need a couple more warriors at least. Something between me and the barbarians. And I'm coming up on the time limit. So I will see you next time, viewers, on Let's Play Civilization 4. The main team signing out.